Welcome back, everybody. So, as you can see, I just got the Tidewee recurve bow in. This is a 50 pound right handed bow. And you're actually going to get an opportunity to win this thing. I'm going to go ahead and give this away to somebody that all you have to do is comment uh, in the comment description below this video. And then uh, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram at KEO underscore underscore vlogs. And you're going to be in the drawing for this. And I'm going to go ahead and pick a name on the next video and send this bow out to whoever I draw on that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see what we got in here. Okay, so here's the handle of the recurve right here. And uh, it's got a tied we insignia on it that says live your passion it's actually beautiful laminated wood that seems like super high quality okay, so we have that piece okay and then it looks like our limbs are in here Okay, there's one of the limbs. And there's the other one. Set those over here. Okay, it comes with six arrows ready to go. There ready to shoot it looks like to me let's go ahead and open this thing up yep these arrows are all ready to shoot they even have 100 grain uh, tips in them comes with directions on how to put it together and then string the bow Look at that, it even comes with a bunch of targets. And this should be our string and stuff in here. This uh, right here is to help you uh, put the string on the bow. I never use it, to be honest. We have an Allen screw, I assume, to put the limbs on, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. So you just unscrew the Allen bolt that's on the frame of the bow there. Just like that. And then that fits right in there like that. Go ahead and screw it back down. Okay, so we have the limbs on the bow now. Okay, so I know this isn't exactly the proper way to string this, but this is how I've always done it. Okay, so we've got the recurve strung, so now we're going to put this. Okay, everybody, we made it outside, and I've got this Tidewee recurve bow all set up here. So it comes with this little sight that I put together here and I shot it a few times and I got it pretty much rough, uh, roughly sighted in. And it, it comes with this arrow mount. I just want to show you guys what I did to it since uh, you guys seen me unbox it. And uh, I leveled up my arrow right here to when I'm at full draw with those. I don't know what the technical term for those are, but anyways, it is ready to roll and it's ready to shoot. And unfortunately, I'm left-handed, and this is a right-handed uh, recurve, but the reality of it is it really doesn't matter. I'll shoot the right-handed uh, recurve left-handed, and I can shoot right-handed. I'm kind of ambidextrous, but we're going to start off shooting the right-handed recurve left-handed, and we're going to see how we do. I've got the target set up right here at 20 yards, so I'll show you guys. Just like over my shoulder here. Hopefully you can see the target somewhat. 
just click it in right there and I'm gonna go ahead and some people split finger it I put a, uh, all three under and we're just gonna go ahead and pull it back and just like that that's a dead deer I inflated her lung she's uh, about to hit the dirt after a 60 yard jump we're gonna go ahead and give it another one here bullseye right there so you really can shoot this uh, it's a right-handed recurve but I'm shooting it just fine left-handed here I'm actually shooting it really well believe it or not Got to make sure that the tips are tight and it stays on the rest there. That one was a little high, but... We've got them all on target at 20 yards here. Another bullseye. See if we can stick another one in there. Nope, that one was low. Let's see how we do with this last one here. Not too bad for the tied wee recurve. And you know, the reality of it is you really don't need this sight. Uh, I'm better off personally just shooting uh, instinctively, pulling it back and finding the same anchor point and letting it go. But uh, this is handy for somebody that's just starting to shoot a recurve to get kind of that bearing as to where they need to be at. And then once you're comfortable, you could take this thing right off and just shoot it, you know, all instinctively. The most important thing about recurve, shooting a recurve is consistency. No matter what you do, you gotta make sure you do everything exactly the same over and over again. And that way you can pretty much guarantee where that arrow is gonna fly every time you let go. So when you pull back, you pull back to the same point, anchor, same spot, let go, same way, every time. And uh, that's the most important thing is consistency and you'll start shooting good at that point. But let's go check these arrows out and see what we got. So we got two of them that are a little high. Actually, you know what? I was aiming for that circle and I was aiming for that one. So, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was aiming in the middle every time. But we did pretty darn good with three arrows there, right, right there close to the center, one low. But, hey. I'm pretty impressed with that recurve. Uh, it's pretty easy to set up, shoots really well, and uh, it's very reasonably priced, especially for somebody, it's a perfect recurve for somebody that's not really sure about shooting a recurve, but wants to give it a try or even play with it. Uh, this is a great recurve for you. I'll put the link in the description. As you can see it on the screen right there, it's a really, really uh, good deal when it comes to recurve. It's really well built and the laminated stock is very nice. I would highly recommend it, and if you use the code KEO16, that'll get you 16% off your order for this recurve, or, at that matter, anything on Tidewee's website. I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and give that away, actually. So, if uh, you want a chance to win that, as I said before, just comment in this uh, video, and then follow me, KEO underscore underscore vlogs on Instagram, and... Uh, I'll put you in the running for the bow, and then I'll, I'll answer it on the next video. So, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Well, there's a bunch of deer coming out into the soybeans over there. Those fawns are, uh, you can hardly even see them standing in the soybeans. The soybeans are so tall. Looks like a little spike in the back.